Question 1. Adequate coverage for large, powerful boats is provided by which of the following? A. A homeowner's policy. B. A homeowner's policy with the watercraft endorsement attached. C. Specialized personal watercraft policies, such as outboard motor and boat, boat owners, or personal yacht policies. D. The reinsurance component of fair plans. The correct answer is C. Specialized personal watercraft policies, such as outboard motor and boat, boat owners, or personal yacht policies. Question 2 A typical outboard motor and boat policy provides which of the following coverages? A. Liability B. Medical payments C. Physical damage D. All of the above The correct answer is C. Physical damage Question 3 under a national flood insurance policy, losses to which of the following could be paid on a replacement cost basis? A. Personal property B. Single family homes C. Mobile homes D. Both A and B The correct answer is B. Single family homes Question 4 Unless an exception applies, when does coverage under an FIP policy begin? A. As soon as the gross policy premium is received. B. Five days after the application and premium payment are mailed. C. 30 days after the date of application. D. On the date the flood insurance application is mailed. The correct answer is C. 30 days after the date of application. Question 5 Which of the following losses are excluded under most yacht policies? A. Injury suffered by a passenger in a water skiing accident. B. Collision damage to another boat for which the insured is liable. C. Both A and B. D. Neither A nor B. The correct answer is A. Injury suffered by a passenger in a water skiing accident. Question 6. Which of these statements concerning the CPP are correct? A. Almost all commercial risks are eligible for coverage under the CPP. B. The insured can choose a variety of eligible commercial coverages to tailor the package to fit his or her specific business insurance needs. C. A complete CPP includes common policy declarations, common policy conditions, and two or more coverage parts. D. A CPP can include ocean marine and aviation insurance. The correct answer is A, B and C. Almost all commercial risks are eligible for coverage under the CPP. The insured can choose a variety of eligible commercial coverages to tailor the package to fit his or her specific business insurance needs and a complete CPP includes common policy declarations, common policy conditions, and two or more coverage parts. Question 7 Which of the following are contained in the common policy declarations? A. The policy period. B. The name and mailing address of the insured. C. Conditions specifying the insured's duties following a loss. D. The insured's premium for each coverage part purchased. The correct answer is A, B and D. The policy period the name and mailing address of the insured and the insured's premium for each coverage part purchased. 
Question 8. Who may cancel a CPP? A. Any named insured. B. The insurance company. C. The first named insured. D. None of the above, once a policy is issued, it can never be cancelled. The correct answer is B and C. The insurance company and the first named insured. Question 9. Under a CPP, how many days advance notice is required if the insurance company is cancelling the contract for non-payment of premium? A. 10 days. B. 21 days. C. 30 days. D. 60 days. The correct answer is A. 10 days. Question 10. Under a CPP, how long after the end of the policy period can the insurance company examine the insured's books and records? A. 10 days. B. 3 months. C. 1 year. D. 3 years. The correct answer is D. 3 years. Question 11. Under a CPP, when does the inspections and surveys condition give the insurance company the right to inspect the insured's premises? A. At any time. B. Quarterly. C. Every six months. D. Once a year. The correct answer is A. At any time. Question 12. What is required for an insured's rights and duties under a CPP to be transferred while the insured is alive? A. The written consent of the insured. B. The written consent of the insurance company. C. The verbal consent of the insured. D. The written consent of the insured's legal representative. The correct answer is B. The written consent of the insurance company. Question 13. What is the largest office building risk that might be eligible for a BOP? A. 3 stories and 50,000 square feet. B. 3 stories and 75,000 square feet. C. 6 stories and 75,000 square feet. D. 6 stories and 100,000 square feet. The correct answer is D. 6 stories and 100,000 square feet. Question 14. In addition to maximum floor space, the BOP eligibility rules limit eligible risks to what maximum? A. $5 million in annual sales. B. $3 million in annual sales. C. $1.5 million in annual sales. D. $750,000 in annual sales. The correct answer is B. $3 million in annual sales. Question 15. Under the additional coverages of the business owner's property coverage, property removed to protect it from loss will be covered at another location for up to how many days? A. 5 days. B. 10 days. C. 20 days. D. 30 days. The correct answer is D. 30 days. Question 16. What is the standard deductible for the bought property coverage? A. $500. B. 
$1,000. C. $750. D. $250. The correct answer is A. $500. Question 17. Which of the following statements applies to mechanical breakdown coverage? A. It is not available in a BOP. B. It is automatically provided in a BOP. C. It is an optional BOP coverage that is activated by an entry in the declarations. D. It is specifically designed to cover insured objects while they are being tested. The correct answer is C. It is an optional BOP coverage that is activated by an entry in the declarations. Question 18. Which one of the following coverages is not included in the BOP? A. Bodily injury and property damage liability. B. Personal and advertising injury liability. C. Medical expense. D. Professional liability. The correct answer is D. Professional liability. Question 19. Which of the following would be covered under the building coverage of a BOP? A. Restroom fixtures. B. Photocopy machines. C. Furnishings in the insured's private office. D. Carpets and floor tiles. The correct answer is A and D. Restroom fixtures and carpets and floor tiles. Question 20. Which of the following would be covered under the business personal property coverage of a BOP? A. Desks, filing cabinets, and other office equipment the insured uses in her business. B. An enclosure around the front entry to a store that the insured tenant had built when he began leasing the building. See cans of paint that are stacked near a newly constructed outer wall prior to painting the wall. D. Fire extinguishers located at various places on the inside walls of the building. The correct answer is A and B. Desks, filing cabinets and other office equipment the insured uses in her business and an enclosure around the front entry to a store that the insured tenant had built when he began leasing the building. Question 21 Which of the following losses would be covered under the property coverage of a BOP? A. An insured moved inventory to another location to protect it from a tornado. Two days later. A sewer backup in the new location damaged that property. B. An explosion at the insured's business spewed toxic chemicals onto property belonging to another company. That company's owner sues the insured for the costs to clean up the chemicals. C. When a tornado damaged a nearby business, authorities closed off the area for one week to clean up the damage. The insured lost business income during that period. D. Because of negligence of an employee, an explosion on the insured's premises damages a nearby building. The correct answer is A and C. An insured moved inventory to another location to protect it from a tornado. Two days later, a sewer backup in the new location damaged that property and when a tornado damaged a nearby business, authorities closed off the area for one week to clean up the damage. The insured lost business income during that period. Question 22. Which of the following is not excluded under business owner's liability coverage? A. Damages the insured causes intentionally. B. Liquor liability for those in the business of serving liquor. C. Liability assumed under an insured contract. D. Damage to the insured's own work. The correct answer is C. Liability assumed under an insured contract. 
Question 23. What is the time limit for extended business income coverage under the BOP? A. 30 days. B. 45 days. C. 60 days. D. 90 days. The correct answer is A. 30 days. Question 24. For how long after the date of a direct physical loss will the insurance company pay for extra expenses under the extra expense additional coverage? A. 30 days. B. 90 days. C. 180 days. D. 12 months. The correct answer is D. 12 months. Question 25. Unless a higher limit is shown in the declarations, what is the limit on coverage for business income from dependent properties? A. $5,000. B. $10,000. C. $50,000. D. $100,000. The correct answer is A. $5,000. Question 26. What is the discovery period for coverage of losses under the employee dishonesty optional coverage? A. One year from the date of the dishonest act. B. One year from the end of the policy period. C. Three years from the date of the dishonest act. D. Three years from the end of the policy period. The correct answer is B. One year from the end of the policy period. Question 27. Which of the following is covered under personal and advertising injury liability coverage in the BOP? A. Slander and libel. B. Malicious prosecution. C. Copyright infringement. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 28. Under the earthquake and volcanic eruption endorsement, all earthquake shocks or volcanic eruptions that occur within a certain number of hours constitute a single earthquake or volcanic eruption. What is that time period? A. 40 hours. B. 72 hours. C. 168 hours. D. 24 hours. The correct answer is C. 168 hours. Question 29. Which causes of loss form provides open peril coverage? A. Basic. B. Broad. C. Special. D. Both basic and broad. The correct answer is C. Special. Question 30. Loss caused by sprinkler leakage is covered under which commercial property causes of loss forms? A. Basic. B. Broad. C. Special. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 31. Which commercial property causes of loss forms cover collapse? A. Basic. B. Broad. C. Special. D. All of the above. The correct answer is B and C. Broad and Special. Question 32. 
which of the following would be covered under the building coverage of the building and personal property coverage form? A. Inventory stored at the insured's warehouse. B. An addition to the insured store on which construction has just begun. C. Fire extinguishers located in the insured's factory. D. Office furniture and supplies kept in the insured's building. The correct answer is B and C. An addition to the insured store on which construction has just begun and fire extinguishers located in the insured's factory. Question 33. The insured's business sustains $25,000 damage in a fire. The fire department that was called to the scene billed the insured $1,000. The business is insured under the building and personal property coverage form for $500,000 with a $5,000 deductible. How much will the insurance company pay for this loss? A. $21,000 B. $20,000 C. $24,000 D. $26,000 The correct answer is A. $21,000. Question 34. Which of the following properties would not be excluded under the building and personal property coverage form? A. Lawn. B. Driveway. C. Private company jet. D. Animals held for sale. The correct answer is D. Animals held for sale. Question 35. When are losses under the building and personal property coverage form paid at replacement or repair cost? A. Always. B. Never. C. If the insured meets the coinsurance requirements and costs are $2,500 or less. D. Whenever the total amount of loss does not exceed 25% of the policy limit. The correct answer is C. If the insured meets the coinsurance requirements and costs are $2,500 or less. Question 36. Which of the following have special loss valuation requirements under the building and personal property coverage form? A. Buildings B. Furniture and fixtures C. Glass D. Valuable papers and records The correct answer is C and D. Glass and valuable papers and records Question 37 which of the following losses would be excluded under the building and personal property coverage form if the insured building had been vacant for more than 60 days before the loss occurred? A. Attempted theft B. Prinkler leakage when the insured had protected the system against freezing C. Vandalism D. Glass breakage The correct answer is A. C, and D. Attempted theft, vandalism and glass breakage. Question 38. Which of the following is covered under the builder's risk coverage form? A. Building under construction. B. Foundation of the building under construction. C. Fixtures, machinery and equipment used to service the building if they will become a permanent part of the building and are located within 100 feet of the building. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 39. Up to what percent of the amount paid for direct loss will the insurance company pay for debris removal expense under the business and personal property coverage form? A. 5 B. 10 
C, 20. D, 25. The correct answer is D. 25. Question 40. What is the limit on pollutant cleanup and removal coverage under the business and personal property coverage form? A. $10,000. B. $20,000. C. $25,000. D. $50,000. The correct answer is A. $10,000. Question 41. What is the pre-year policy limit for coverage of electronic data under the business and personal property coverage form? A. $1,000. B. $2,500. C. $5,000. D. $7,500. The correct answer is B. $2,500. Question 42. A voluntary action to rid the ship of cargo to prevent further damage is called what? A. Jettison. B. Particular average. C. Baratry. D. General average. The correct answer is A. Jettison. Question 43. The motor truck cargo policy does which of the following? A. Insures a truck carrier for liability arising out of the transportation of cargo. B. Covers any loss to cargo in transit, regardless of whether the carrier is liable for damage. C. Ensures the shipper for all incoming or outgoing shipments during the policy term. D. Provides coverage for a shipper on a single shipment of goods. The correct answer is A. Ensures a truck carrier for liability arising out of the transportation of cargo. Question 44. If the insurance company requests a proof of loss on a commercial inland marine claim, the insured must submit it within how many days? A. 10 days. B. 30 days. C. 60 days. D. 90 days. The correct answer is C. 60 days. Question 45. Which of these statements about the mail coverage form are correct? Select all that apply. A. It covers bonds, securities, and checks when they are sent by first class or certified mail. B. Food stamps and money are always excluded under the policy. C. Property is covered on a named peril basis. Deal losses are valued on the basis of the property's actual value, but not less than its market value, on the date of mailing. The correct answer is A and D. It covers bonds, securities, and checks when they are sent by first class or certified mail and losses are valued on the basis of the property's actual value, but not less than its market value, on the date of mailing. Question 46. Which of the following can be covered under the Physicians and Surgeons Equipment Coverage Form? Select all that apply. A. Medical instruments that are on the premises. B. Dental instruments that are off the premises. C. Radium. D. All of the above. The correct answer is A and B. Medical instruments that are on the premises and dental instruments that are off the premises. Question 47. Which of the following losses could be covered under the theatrical property coverage form? 
A theft of costumes from an unlocked vehicle. B damage to a vehicle used as a prop in the production. C destruction of admission tickets for the production in a fire. D all of the above. The correct answer is B. Damage to a vehicle used as a prop in the production. Question 48. Which of the following properties can be covered under the film coverage form? Select all that apply. A. Positive prints. B. Motion picture film. C. Soundtrack. D. Unused footage. The correct answer is B. Add C. Motion picture film and soundtrack. Question 49. Which of these losses is covered under the signs coverage form? Select all that apply. A. The electric sign above the insured's business is destroyed when it is blown down in a thunderstorm. B. The insured's neon sign is damaged when vandals throw rocks at it. C. A power surge blows out several tubes in the insured's fluorescent sign. D. All of the above. The correct answer is A and B. The electric sign above the insured's business is destroyed when it is blown down in a thunderstorm and the insured's neon sign is damaged when vandals throw rocks at it. Question 50 Which of these losses is covered under the jeweler's block coverage form, assuming that the insured has purchased all available optional coverages? Select all that apply. A. Theft of money from a locked vault on the insured's premises. B. Theft of money from an unlocked vault on the insured's premises. C. Theft of covered property from an unattended auto. D. Theft of items on display in a show window when the window is smashed. The correct answer is A and D. Theft of money from a locked vault on the insured's premises and theft of items on display in a show window when the window is smashed. 